Well, this will be a day South Texas certainly will not forget for a long time. Hurricane barrel packing wind gusts in excess of 100 miles per hour. For the last 10 days, barrel has wreaked havoc in 11 different countries, making three landfalls as a hurricane. The third and final landfall was in Matagorda. KPRC 2's Gage Golding intercepted the Category 1 hurricane live on television overnight Sunday into Monday. This evening, he reports from Matagorda, where people are just starting to take in the damage. For many, they still haven't returned yet to see their homes or the damage done. Many homes here in Matagorda have their walls ripped off. Others are left soaked inside and out. Capping off a holiday weekend, it's Mother Nature that ended with fireworks. Hurricane Barrel gaining strength in the 11th hour, becoming a Category 1 hurricane before slamming into Matagorda, Texas, a mere 100 miles from Houston. We're seeing the storm surge from Hurricane Barrel start to come in. I want to show you this right over the railing here. This is the Colorado River off in the distance in the storm surge, rolling in from the Gulf, pushing across the road underneath our house and now into the Colorado River, just a sign of the sheer strength this storm has as it bears down on the Texas Gulf Coast. Up to a reported eight feet of storm surge rushing into the small peninsula, inundating cars and leaving destruction in its wake. You can tell the floor is wet, so we had water that was driven underneath the door. Sherry Gilmer's home hit from all angles, the bottom floor flooded by barrel surge, and on top, barrel tearing into her roof. The floor is really spongy, so I don't know how safe it is. Oh, wow. Yeah. Were you shocked whenever you saw this? Yes, um, extremely shocked. In this small boarded up beach town, everybody knows one another. It's why you see so many people stopping, offering a helping hand to get a friend back on their feet. We went, we saw, we persevered. Is this enough for you to throw in the towel? No, I mean, no, I love living where I do. Barrel is a record breaking storm, not its size, but the fact that it is the earliest category five hurricane in the Atlantic Basin ever recorded. And this is the second hurricane to slam into the Texas Gulf Coast just two weeks ago. Tropical storm Alberto hitting the Corpus Christi area. And here's the troubling thought. Hurricane season is only just beginning. In Matagorda, I'm Gage Golding. Poor Gage, like all of our crews, did a fantastic job out there. That's a harrowing thought that it, hurricane season really kind of just getting kicked off. The heart of the season is September 10th. Yeah. And here we are uh, all the rest of July. Mm -hmm. At least it's quiet for right now in the tropics, but you still have all of August. That's when things really get going. Mm -hmm. And the pattern right now, the, la the three storms that have been named mm -hmm. have hit between Mexico and southeast Texas. So they've all been in this area. Exactly, yeah. So that's wow. a, a big concern. I